Today's topic, paleo is trash. This is obviously what's taught in the level one. Nutrition as the base of the pyramid, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables, little starch, no sugar, lean protein sources, blah, 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 blah. This is outdated and it doesn't work. And it's actually very disappointing considering the base of the pyramid is nutrition. The problem with this is that it's not personalized, it's not flexible, it's do this or you're not following the right prescription for how you need to be eating. This is completely and utterly false. And the paleo system has been debunked multiple times for not only not being optimal for the current day in society for people doing for four to five watts per week but also not necessary and outright dangerous so I'm gonna go over why you want to be following something different than the paleo diet and I'll go over why the paleo diet comes up super short when it comes to reaching our goals now number one we always go through protein being the most important macronutrient if you're doing four to five watts per week but what is the second most important you got it it's carbs under the paleo system there are only a few carb selections that we have those carb selections are fruits vegetables and potatoes you can't really eat anything else carbs from dairy from rice from bread all of its off limits doesn't make any sense this really limits our carbohydrate sources when limiting our carbohydrate sources two things happen number one we don't eat enough carbs not eating enough carbs keeps us under fueled for the workouts we're doing and keeps us under recovered after we're done the workout in fact I have my athletes eating high sugary, highly uh, dense carbohydrates of high glycemic index in and around their workouts. And these are off limits for the paleo system, but I do this with my games athletes. It doesn't make sense. And so these limited carb options leave us with maybe not even eating enough carbs to support our workout and our lifestyle. Number two, when we eliminate foods, which is exactly what the paleo system recommends, guess what? We crave those foods more. Several scientific research studies have shown that if you eliminate foods, don't give yourself permission to have these foods, especially carbohydrates, eventually over time you crave them more. And what do you do? You binge them. And this is why so many of us have been culprits of losing the weight, feeling great and confident in our body, and then going right back to where we started, which creates long-term damage to our body. And so carbohydrates are essential. There are water energy and we need to make sure we have multiple sources that allow for us to fuel properly if you don't have celiac disease you can eat bread or sensitivities you can eat bread if you don't have sensitivities to rice you can eat rice there's nothing wrong with these sources of carbohydrates they're great sources of fiber and great sources of just fueling ahead of time for your workouts and being able to recover and refuel afterwards so that is the number one reason number two is social and practical restraints imagine going to a restaurant and they don't really have options that are just fruits and vegetables and potatoes what are you going to do just eat protein which goes back to my under eating point now we're not even getting enough carbohydrates to fuel for life and to fuel for our workouts just doesn't make any sense there's nothing wrong with these foods and so don't let following a paleo system keep you from going out to eat with your friends having these practical and sustainable solutions so that you can enjoy yourself still and go out to eat and have a nice meal with family and friends this rigidity only causes things to get worse for you especially when you're trying to focus more on your nutrition now additionally paleo eliminates all dairy sources which are great sources of protein great sources of fat great sources of carbs even. And so why would we be eliminating dairy if it's not necessary? There are three components in dairy. Number one, carbohydrate. The carbohydrate is lactose. Lactose in dairy products can cause a sensitivity or an intolerance. This is called lactose intolerant. If you're not lactose intolerant, you don't need to eliminate lactose. You can eat lactose just fine. Number two, fat. The fat in dairy is saturated fat. Nobody has an allergy to saturated fat. Saturated fat is healthy. It's in, it's in egg yolks. It's in a lot of other areas of our life. It's in meat products. Why would we need to eliminate saturated fat? We wouldn't. And lastly is protein. The protein source in, in dairy products is whey and casein. Whey and casein are complete sources of protein. Why would we need to eliminate them? They're present in protein powders. And so now under the paleo system, you're not even able to eat protein powders. 
or drink protein powder, that's odd because we drink protein powders all the time. So these restrictive limits really leave us, leave us limited into what we can do, what we can eat, and can leave us underfueled during our workouts. And so the paleo system in general, we're not able to get enough carbohydrates for our watt energy because they're very limited sources. It keeps it very unsustainable for us to follow long term. Nobody's going to follow the paleo system forever. And number three, we really aren't able to recover properly from the workouts that we have, build more muscle, and so we can get stronger hit PRs at the gym. And so this is why I would completely avoid the paleo system. It's not effective, it's super outdated, and this is why your L1 coach really can't be a nutrition coach if they don't have any other certifications or training because all they learn is the paleo system and zone, utilizing the foods that are accessible and appropriate for paleo in a zone-based system. Okay, so avoid the paleo system. Paleo is trash if you're doing four to five watts per week. And instead, head over to our Instagram at CBG Online Nutrition, and we'll give you a free guide to help you reach your goals if you're looking to lose body fat, build muscle, and crush your watts. Talk to you guys on the next one.